to five on a tripod in the corner there. If I press the live view button, straight away, I now have you wonderful people up on screen. And uh, by just pressing anywhere on the iPad, it will automatically focus. It's touch sensitive. This can be done on the phone as well, but on iPhone, obviously, the resolution is slightly lower. So I've picked an iPad for today. On the side here, I can select any one of the features. I can change the camera settings. I can also change things like ISO values. I can change white balance. All the core functions of a camera you may want to change remotely. Um, I can take a still image by pressing the shutter button. And it's now staged, so taken a still image and then gone straight back to live view. And in the top left hand corner, I also have a remote viewing capability so that I can actually um, review the images that I've taken. I now have a browser that I can flick through and in the top right hand side, I can select how I want to actually um, review those. Now, this is a fantastic feature for anyone that buys a WT5, has a phone in their pocket, straight away they have access to the world. They can transmit wherever they want to go. They can control their camera remotely if they want to. And the great thing about this is this doesn't require an app. This is using an interface that's built into the camera. So you don't need an app. It doesn't get updated. It doesn't need, you don't lose it every time iOS do an update. <coughs> it's in the camera already. And further to this, if I go back into the, the, the shooting menu, and down at the bottom corner, I can also go to my video mode. I can now remotely start stop video recording. And I can change all of my other settings that are available there as well. I can even change my focus to apply full-time AF tracking using Live View, which you'll notice when you see the camera is significantly faster. Okay.